Welcome to the Rackforms Express Quick Start Tour. The idea here is to show uh, two jobs being built uh, so that you can very quickly get up to speed with how Rackforms Express works. Uh, we're going to build two uh, forms. One is going to email and one is going to send to our automated entry viewer system. So let's go ahead and start building them. So whenever I build a Rackforms job, I'm always going to add two pages at minimum. Uh, one will be a sortable page, this plus S, and the other one will be a confirmation page, which is this plus C. The form page gets the actual form field items that I want, and the confirmation page gets the delivery mechanism. So we have three different delivery mechanisms to choose from. They're all in red right here. We have an SQL module that's going to send things to the entry viewer, and then we also have two email modules. The first is called Simple Email, and as the name suggests, this is going to send an automated uh, and auto-formatted email to the address of our choice. We also have Email Plus. This allows us to actually send a custom formatted email message. In this case, though, we're going to stick with simple email. So now before I finish this form, I just want to quickly change my uh, label fields right here. So I'll just select each one of these fields and change its label so that it makes sense for my form. So we'll say name, email, and then contact message. It's important to note here that um, while there are a lot of other options that we can change, including validation rules, you'll notice that I don't have to change any of those values. I could simply add fields right here and change the label, and Rackforms handles the rest for us. Finally, I should add a submit button to this form, and that's essentially it now. We have a form page that is going to collect information from users and an email module that's going to send it to the email address of our choice. Now, speaking of which, I probably should provide an email address, and in this case, I'll just say info at rackforms.com. As general custom uh, uh, would apply, we usually want to have a from address as well, and then also a subject. So I'll say contact form. And so that's basically it. We added two page, a form page right here, and a C page, which stands for confirmation. To the form page, I then added a couple form fields. To the confirmation page, I added an email item, and I provided an email address. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. I'll click that little green button right here, as you saw, and then I can now fill out my form as I see fit. When I hit uh, submit them, we go to the confirmation page. And uh, not only does this page take care of what the user sees, it also has processed this email item. And indeed, if I go to my email inbox right here, it's off screen, I apologize for that. And if I hit refresh right here, I can then open up this message that I just sent to myself right here. So here it is, name, email, and contact message. And you can see that Rackforms has handled all the formatting for us. So that's our first form. Let's create a second form now that is going to send to the automated result browser. So once again, I'm going to add uh, a sortable page. So click the S and click the C. And then to my sortable page here, I'm going to go ahead and add the fields that I want. In this case, I'll just add two along with the submit button. And then for the confirmation page, I'm going to click the SQL item right here. Now the SQL means send to simple SQL. And simple SQL means send to this entry view right here. Now the reason we call it SQL is because it is important to note that we're writing to a database right here. The email item, by contrast, doesn't save the data anywhere, it simply sends it off in an email format. Whereas the SQL item is actually going to persist that data so we can retrieve it at a later point. Now it is important to note before I add an SQL item that I name my job something unique. And the reason why we do that is when I name my job and then click the publish button right here, Rackforms now saves this job in the load a save jobs menu right here. So at any point, I can actually load this job as I had created it before. And these job names determine what we can load in this field right here. So in this case, of course, I call it contact form. And sure enough, contact form is a job I can load. That said, let's go ahead and add our SQL item to this page. And then let's build it and see what happens. So once again, I'll fill out this information. And I'll say contact message. And I'll hit submit. Once again, we go to our confirmation page. Again, we show the user some information here. Here, I'm just saying confirmation page, but we would usually change this to say, thank you for your submission or something like that. But once again, we had this little background processing module right here, which sent it to the entry viewer. To, re uh, to view the result of this entry then, I'm simply going to click on entry viewer. And under selected job to view entries, I'll select my contact form. And sure enough, here is Matt and my message that I sent. Now, from this uh, guy right here, I can do a couple things. I can print entries, I can delete them, I can even export them to tab limited format so we can import them to another program such as Excel. For now, though, I'm going to go back to the editor and just really quickly point out that once again, I have both of these jobs. I can load them at any time. And as we can see here, I can actually add multiple uh, submission methods to the same form. 
So for example, in this case, I added the SQL item, but I could just as easily add an email item so that not only does it go to the entry viewer, it also emails to one person as well. Of course, we can have multiple email items, which means that we can have different content going to different people. Finally, when it comes time to actually uh, sharing this form with somebody, it's really simple. The first way that we can do that is by simply previewing the form and then taking this address that's in our URL bar right here and just providing this as a link. When I provide this as a link, the user would click on the link and they'll go directly to this page and they'll see exactly what we're seeing right here. So for example, if I copy this link right here, I'm going to open up Chrome, a completely different browser, and we'll go ahead and paste that link in and sure enough, here's my form. By contrast, a usually more popular and perhaps simpler way of doing this is to actually use the embed option. So the embed option is available by clicking on this button right here. And what its job is to do is to simply give us an iframe uh, snippet of HTML that has a link to my form. So this iframe widget, let me go ahead and open up TextMinder right here, simply looks like this. Because it's HTML, we can then paste this anywhere HTML is accepted. So for example, if you had Dreamweaver and you're working on a site, you would paste this into the rest of your site's code and the form would show up in that area. If you had Facebook or some other place that also accepts HTML snippets like this, your form would similarly show up there. And of course, the same applies for WordPress, Joomla, and other content management systems. So that's a quick look at Wrap Forms Express. As you can see, it's really easy to create forms. The general rule is we always add two pages. We click the plus S and plus C. To the F page, that is form page, we add the fields that we want and generally change the label properties. And there's the confirmation page. We simply decide where we want and how we want to send this submission. Do we want to send it to SQL, which means the entry viewer, or do we want to send it to email? And if so, who do we want the email to go to? Of course, if you have any questions about RackForms, RackForms Express, or anything else that we do, we're always happy to hear from you at info at rackforms.com, or phone number is at the top of our website, also at rackforms.com. And thanks for watching.